Okay, we are in the Memorial Park area of Five Points in Athens, Georgia. I'm actually right at the top of the hill here in Memorial Park. And this is another little area of Five Points um, that you can generally refer to as Memorial Park because of this location. So this part of Five Points is between Millage and Lumpkin. Um, and its border would probably be Macon Highway, you could say, on the southeast side. Um, right here Memorial Park is obviously a city park where there's a bridge, a dog park, um, nice little pond. It's a great place to walk towards. There's swing sets. Sometimes you see birthday parties down here. Um, dog park on the other side. And it's just a great little gathering area for, for various things. It's also close to, we have a small zoo called Bear Hollow Zoo that is located in this part of Five Points. And you kind of get a chance to see animals that are more regional to this area. Also times of the year, Bear Hollow will do a Christmas event, maybe a Halloween carnival. Um, so for various reasons, this is a you know, desirable little park to come utilize. But it also denotes an area of Five Points that we're talking about today. So as I climb back up the hill, I'm gonna take you to a few streets. The area here, streets that you might wanna think about are Millage Terrace, Millage Heights, Parkway Drive. You might want to think of Greenwood Drive, Carlton Terrace, Hope Avenue. Um, this is the area of Five Points that generally referred to as Memorial Park. Now in the late 90s and before then, even when I was in school, you saw a lot more rental in this part of Five Points than you would see today. Um, for instance, I actually lived on Marion Drive in Greenwood myself uh, at, right at the turn of 2000. And I live in this neighborhood today. But over the years, these homes have gone away from rental properties and much more into home ownership. This was an area of Five Points that really did, has seen that transition the most over the last three or four years. And truthfully, the home values are roughly uh, roughly the same that you're gonna see in areas like University Drive and to some, some degree, uh, the Miller Circle area. And this area of town can be a hidden gem. It sits on the top of the hill in Five Points. Millage Avenue runs a ridge across town that's popular for jogging and walking and basically Athens slopes away from Millage Avenue in various directions but this area is where you're seeing a lot of new construction and that's where we're coming towards now you've got two homes that were just done over here one kind of can't see I apologize but straight ahead and they sold for around 250 a square foot looking in six seven hundred range on Millage Heights so you're probably noticing the different in the difference in architecture from house to house, which is very common in Five Points, especially this area. You know, you've got fee simple lots dating back to this part of the county. Was a lot of the homes probably built around 1930s and 40s, 50s. So you got a lot of different agri um, architecture in, in an area. But when you see a renovated home that can basically classify as new construction, that price per square foot is going to go up quite a bit, like just what we're seeing there. And again, look right next door is different architecture. So we're on Millage Heights climbing the hill towards uh, Millage Avenue. And again, like you might've found in other videos in the Five Points area, a big part of this appeal of this part of town is the walkability. Having an in-town neighborhood where you can enjoy things in town, UGA sporting events, restaurants, bars, shops, things that are easy for you to go do with your family or your wife. And that's a big part of what people enjoy about this part of town. Again, values are similar to other areas that we've talked about in other videos in Five Points. For instance, as I come across right here, you can see it's a new construction home that was built right here that was close to maybe one a little bit more dated. So we've seen appraisals here get properties up well over 800 and you still can see a property that needs work or renovations you're gonna go under $200 a square foot on that. And that's gonna just vary depending on the home. So I've found in the last four years, some of the bigger opportunities for home buyers have been in this part of Five Points. It's probably undergone the most transition because where it was heavily rental property, um, there are still rentals here, but it's really transitioned and heavy into home ownership. And uh, that's been good for the neighborhood uh, in several ways. It's never been a bad location for sure but it's just become filled with young families over the last five years. Now we're turning on the Millage Terrace and we'll probably end the video here shortly, but there's you know representation of a newer home that's, that's been constructed. And we've also had some new homes come up down here towards Greenwood. Now, if you go to the right, you're on Lumpkin Street. And if behind me is Millage, 
So on either side you go, you're on one of the two major thoroughfares that drive through town to the university. And that's very appealing. I personally live in this neighborhood. I've seen from seven years ago, barely any trick-or-treaters to an abundance of young children trick-or-treating uh, house to house over the last several years. So it's really been fun to watch and see. And uh, it's Memorial Park area five points. Uh, if this is an area of town you're interested in, you should definitely consider Memorial Park. Uh, if you find a house you'd like to get information on, contact us, 5mrealty.com. If you're on the app, just click on to call an agent. 5 Market Realty, Memorial Park.